about four or five days ago, like when I heard about this news, there's no way not coming up introduction for this because it had a massive amount, absolutely cataclysmic, like no freaking amount of respect and loyalty in the world would have prepared me for this because um, watch one of my childhood fucking um, one of the most coolest, hilarious, comedic, even family friendly when the grand in the late 70s and 80s. Early 80s, I think it was like more for adults, sort of like humorous jokes. But um, I'm playing the music in the background. I was gonna play either some sad Pokemon music or real super sad, like Smash Bros. music or stuff that I usually like to indulge in most of the time, like anime music. But it's kind of like anime video games, mixed up. Anyways, a lot of you guys know it is Kingdom Hearts. This is like the best one I come up with. Like, I was gonna play like the Simple and Clean music, but there was a lot of techno trans versions of it. But I wanted to play more like serious serious super sad music so there's that let's put play sanctuary and stuff because this guy means the freaking world man again i never knew the dude in real life paul rubens better known as freaking peewee herman bro uh, he died five days ago i know i'm real very late on this thing but we just gonna do videos monday tuesday wednesday i think my thoughts on this one real real deep so this stuff follow me on my social medias if you want anyways um so, uh, fortunately, this one I passed away too. I don't know who he was. I never watched the show before. The only thing, person I knew in that one was Zendaya. There's Zendaya. So, um, yeah, rest in peace to that dude. Granted, I didn't know who he was at all, period. But, hey, they said he was really, really good. The guy from the Florida, he, Angus Clouds. It's a sad rest in peace to the dude. Hopefully he made it to the gates of heaven. If not, sadly, I'm not surprised. My boy, though. My guy, my man. I'm not the legend man. I do as old enough to be my grandfather, but... Damn, bro. This shit hit me like a ton of fucking bricks. Like an 18-wheeler colliding with an asteroid and just some mega atomic nuclear bomb just spiritually blew me the hell away. And I when I heard about this news in a bad way, sadly. But Mr. Pee Wee Herman himself, man, a.k.a. Paul Rubens, um, passed away. I only ever did three videos on the dude when he did the Pee Wee's Big Adventure remake with Master like three or four years ago. You know, like 2017, 2018. So there's that. So, links to description box down below. Mm, I was depressed like a mother for it. I heard it on CBC Canada too, but I may, may not read it from there. And I got two other articles I'm gonna just go lightning round fast with. As Rubens is an actor and comedic actor from Forbes.com, got a card of as a He's best known for his Pee Wee Herman character. He died on July 30th at age 7. His official Pee Wee Herman Instagram account confirmed on Monday. <sighs> Still hit me like a fucking ton of breaths, like a fucking wrecking ball just shot on my soul, bro. But, you know, everything lasts forever, sadly. So this official people who now you realize how that began his career in the 1970s, Mr. Rubens. Began in the 1970s, performing at the comedy clubs and joining the comedy troupe The Groundlings as an improv actor. He came up with, came up with a Pee Wee Herman character while a member of the <laughs> Groundlings in 1978, developing the Pee Wee Herman show. Production ran for five, so five out ran for five months. I can't even talk right. I have more than normal, which is worse. And for five sold, five sold out months and landed Rubens of his HBO series special. The characters soon began came a hit franchise, PG's Big Adventure and Pee-wee's Big Top, two features, 1985-1988. I know this both came out before I was born, but I'm glad I had a remake for that in my late 90s. The 90s could. Respectively. In the children's show of Pee-wee's Playhouse, ran on CBS between 1986 and 1990. Pee-wee Herman character was retired years after Ruben was arrested in 1991. I remember that. I don't remember when it happened. It was like three when that came. I ended up being a thing, but <laughs> I didn't learn that shit until I was like 8, 9 years old. I thought it was funny, but disgusting, but it was what it was. It was funny when the bus load in the freaking public, which is crazy because even though it was in an adult theater where it happened at, but he still got arrested for it anyways in Florida somewhere. Not surprised. And the dude was just psh, rubbing that one out. <laughs> anyways, um, Pee Wee character was retired for years after Rubens was arrested. <laughs> Later in the decades, Rubens appeared for several high-profit projects and was unaffiliated with Pee Wee Herman, such as the 1990 film Mystery Man and the 2001 film Blood.
could it not get known? Because I was watching an old YouTube video about it, just saying that um they destroyed the whole building after that because they thought it wasn't worth anything anymore. Uh, big mess, rest in peace, little man. You will always forever be my side and always keep my due thoughts and prayers on this guy because hopefully you made it. I truly hope you made it to heaven. I will hate you on the suffering and fight on this place forever. Anyways, um, these two were really funny. Because <laughs> um, one of them has something to do with this dude here. I ironically enough, it did. And, uh, WWE CEO, the original CEO, a few years ago, Vince McMahon, he ended up getting raided by the feds, by the federal agencies, the FBI, NSA, and the SWAT teams. They all raided his house because he was still best friends with Donald Trump and stuff like that. So I thought they were really, really stupid as hell. And I don't really give a shit about wrestling, WWE. And the same guys really would love wrestling, not me. I never really got gravitated towards it. I like boxing a lot more in the UFC. Wrestling just felt really, really staged and Broadway fake theater, personally. Hey, and you guys want, want to love that too? That's cool. One of them was another one. There's a Guinness Book of World Records or whatever. They're copyright striking people's channels. So be super careful about that. And this one, I'm definitely doing a video on. This piece of garbage here, honestly, thank God, I'm so fucking glad this girl's finally gone. She's 14 when I first heard about her, this chick, the feminist frequency chick. It's Anita Sarkeesian, thank God, this chick is fucking gone. I always hated that bitch's gut, she was a piece of fucking garbage. I'm glad she's freaking going away from the internet forever, thank God. She deserves to be gone, because she's an absolute scumbag piece of garbage. That's just, every man's evil, every man is just so disgusting. The white guy's so evil, this weird guy's so messed up that like, the women need to be fucking in charge of power. This girl was such a fucking, like, a annoying tick. It was like a thorn on my side every time I heard of this freaking bitch. So yeah, Anita Sarkeesian to close feminist frequency after 15 years. I thought it was only 9 or 10 years old. It's 15 years old? What? Well, I didn't know that. Anyways, I'm links to Scripture Balls down below. I'll do a separate video on that next time because... I don't feel like wasting my Bretness C dash U dash M dash T because that's what she is. And thank God she's gonna be gone forever because she's an absolute piece of fucking garbage. I'm give two sports a piss about. Anyways, yeah, that's all I gotta say for now. I'm out of here. Rest in peace to the man, the myth, the legend. Paul Rubens, aka P. Werman, I miss you. And I remember he was in Dark Light movie too, part two. I know it was the one that had George Clooney in it, or the other dude. I forgot which one it was, man. But anyways, um yeah. You gotta never see this piece of garbage ever again. That's it. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen. Those are my famous things as always. Talk to me and my buddies. I'll see you next week. It's day of the night. Work in the world. Stage right? one for your conscious. I'm gonna be the mention news and my news with your drummers. Sadly, celebrity gossip and celebrity urgent update news. So, and of course, the Elon Musk news I do once in a while. And um, Twitch drama news I do once in a while. And Twitch I do drama news and YouTube drama news a lot. And TikTok drama news I do extremely rarely. And that's it. Peace out. Interaction with you seconds as well. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen. You'll feel sorry. Take it easy. Stay safe. I'm not a mount. Rest in peace, my sweet, awesome, badass King Paul Rubens. Truly rest in power.